little too close to me. It's fine. Yeah. Sorry. Hi, Don't everyone, touch. and welcome to the, the girls' room. room. My name is Amber, and if you look in the dictionary for the word popular, you'll find a really cute picture of me. My name's Sheila. Anybody got a problem with that? Hey, y'all. My name's Tammy, and I'm an exchange student from Tennessee. <laughs> my name is Elizabeth. Uh, your name's Debbie. <laughs> but if my name were Elizabeth, it would be Elizabeth. <laughs> <laughs> you realize that's not your name, right? But it could be. <laughs> okay, anyway, so we're going to talk about something really important. <laughs> Spring formal. I am so excited to get my Tennessee two-step on. I don't even want to go this year because you have to pay $5, and that's just entirely too expensive. Like, we ain't got money for that. <laughs> well, I'm excited because I get to plant my flowers. Oh, my God. <laughs> they are. <laughs> What are, what are you talking about, Debbie? <laughs> well, spring formal means it's formally time for spring and planting flowers. Were you <laughs> dropped on your head as a baby? I'm sure I was. Well, that explains a lot. It's a good thing you're pretty. Debbie, you realize that spring formal is not about like flowers in spring. It's a dance that's put on for the students. Well, maybe for you. That's <laughs> Flowers. Okay. okay. Anyway, we need to get back on track here. We have a lot of girly things that we need to talk about. I would like to show you guys my dress that I have for formal. I hung it up in the stall. I hope that's alright with you guys. It's alright oh. with me. Here it is. Oh my oh. gosh. What do you know what would go great with that dress? Back up, you guys need to be more excited for me. No, it's not on my own. Girl. Anyway, what were you saying, Tammy? You know what would look really, really good with that dress? What, me? A pair of cowboy boots. You're and right, you're right. Well, you guys, I'm sorry I didn't bring my dress, but I can show you a picture. Oh, boy. <laughs> Let's see what she comes up with. I'm a with. great artist. She's going to break the stage. All right. <laughs> you know, for such a tiny girl, she uh, she sure can bring a whiteboard right into the bathroom. <laughs> really? Where'd you even find that, <laughs> Debbie? Did you steal that? It looks like there it is. Oh. These are sequins. They look like a, it looks like a cactus. <laughs> yep. <laughs> cactus dress. That's right. I mean, she does love her plants. Yep. I mean, yeah. That's fine. <laughs> Looks like it's really gonna fit you, Debbie. Oh, yeah. Wow. Anyway. <laughs> anyway, okay, so I have one more thing that I would like oh, to right. say. Live from Campbellsville, it's Tuesday night! With Landon Rogers.
Got your girl in the cut and she choose a club going up, going up on a Tuesday. Got your girl in the cut and she choose a club going up, going up on a Tuesday. Whoa. Got your girl Hello. in the cut and she choose a club going up. Tuesday night live. Are you guys Tuesday. happy that Tuesday Night Live is back? I would hope so. I am as well. You know, now that the springtime is upon us, I've a uh, taking up some new recreational activities, as you can see. Um, so I hope you guys have been doing some fun things. Um, you know, the grass is green. The sap lawn is being mowed, like, at 7 a.m. And the snowflakes are coming back on Thursday. So uh, prepare yourselves. Snow f coming. Yeah, it's going to be Thursday, so it's going to be great. Um, but genuinely, what will be great, it's our show tonight. We have a really awesome show prepared for you all. You might be wondering, Meg, what up with the get up? Actually, this is just like my Tuesday normal class wear. Um, so, no, just kidding. Later, you guys will see a small, uh, small sneak peek that might explain this. Um, but we have a ton of awesome stuff put together for you all. So, you should be excited for the show. You know, last night, I was pretty excited. There was a basketball game going on last night. Anyone? Anyone? Okay, yes, I know, I know Kentucky and that other school in Kentucky was not in it. But, but, yay for underdogs or something, right? Yeah, so if that's you in your classes, there's still a shot. Still a shot. Um, I wouldn't put it off like that, but, you know, if you failed your midterm, there's still hope. There is. Um, good luck. Good luck. So, um, we do have some really wonderful entertainers here. Uh, for example, do you guys know David Richards? <laughs> David Richards is a pretty awesome dude. And sometimes you might confuse him with that dude who plays the music for thank you notes. That might be him. Well, David Richards, um, you can come on out wherever you are, David. <laughs> Everyone, round of applause for the David Richards band. Whoa. Look at this squad. Man. I'm not, I'm not going to play in the man, but David, um, who do you have here that you should, you should introduce us to your squad? Yeah, so what's up, everybody? Um, this is Miss Allie Camp that we have on vocals for tonight. Give it up for Allie. We got Miss Catherine Weeks on the keys. We got Trey Song on the mic tonight. <laughs> We also got Mr. Drew O'Neill playing the acoustic guitar. Don't forget the bass player. He's awesome. Paul Taylor. Yeah. And then for last but not least, the greatest drummer that has ever existed on this earth, Aaron Neal. Woo! Give it up for the David Richards Band! All right, everybody, we're going to play a song tonight, okay? We're going to teach you a little melody, all right? Let's get that kick going, Aaron. Yo 
young junk you said like making big mistakes I feel like for the first time in a long time I am not afraid I feel like a king never thought Sitting next to you? No. Can I can I join you? I guess. Okay, cool. Hey. Uh, I I burnt something today in ceramics, so you might want to back off. I smell okay. like um, you know burnt clay and shattered dreams. Um. <laughs> okay. Well, looks like the line here is pretty long. I guess there's another middle school tour here. That's weird because when I was in college, or when I was in middle school, I was not thinking about college. 
When I was in middle school, I was getting shoved into a locker every day by my brother. Oh. <laughs> okay, well, middle school went really well for me. I broke my school's record for the fastest 5K on my cross-country team. Oh. I'm pretty fast. Impressive. Today I broke a record, too. You want to know what it is? Well, I mean, I guess. Today I broke the record of how many days I've been single. Yesterday. Oh. <laughs> yesterday there, there. was 7,293. Today it's 7,294. Okay, well. Wendy, <laughs> hey, please come sit with us. Please. Man, Chick-fil-A is so packed. I'm so glad I got to sit with you all. <laughs> Sarah, how are you? Not the best. Today I woke up late and had to rush to class, and I think during that time, running so fast, getting my immune system down, you know, I caught a cold. Okay. I went to the doctor, and he said it was a rare sinus condition oh, no. that causes um, <laughs> tables to fall down. And um, Weird. I may never be able to go outside again. Wow. That must be really hard. Not really. I don't like going outside. Okay. All right. And I don't like the spring. Everything's new and blooming, and it's just a reminder that everything's futile and fragile and waiting for a cold to kill us all. Okay. Well, oh. anyways, I have great news. I've been on a diet and working out, and today's oh cheat day. I'm yes, so proud of you. Yeah, you know, that is every, awesome. Every day is cheat day for my divorced parents. <laughs> Kill me with that dry humor, Sarah. That wasn't a joke. Oh. Vari, what's good? Hey, what's good? Hey, guys. Hey. How's your old day? Mm -hmm. hey. Okay. Well, it's cheat day. Chicken and salad. Well, coach let us out of practice early this morning, so I got to go back to my dorm room and nap. It was glorious. Nice. My day was terrible. Mm. This morning, my cat died. He was 73 years old. <laughs> It's just a reminder to me that, you know, all life is temporary and eventually we're all going to end up like my cat. Dead, buried in a box in the backyard. Okay, well. Sarah, do you have, ever have anything positive to say? I'm positive that life is meaningless and we're all just screaming into a void. Oh, come on, Sarah. Does anyone have a phone charger? My phone is about to die. And I so am I. <laughs> Right, well. Sarah! What's up? <laughs> hey! Who are you? Uh, I'm Kyle. We've never met before. I'm, I'm in the art class. I'm the, I'm the jock and athlete. Um, <laughs> but you're looking good. <laughs> Thanks. Looking, uh, it's good to see you outside the classroom for sure. I guess. I don't really like being outside. <laughs> well, you know what doctors say about frowning? It takes a lot more effort to frown than it does to smile. Do you know that's a myth? Just like the myth of an afterlife? Oh my gosh, Sarah, that's not a myth. What? Oh. <laughs> or it's like a myth. Like the myth that that thing outside the cafeteria is like a tiger or something. That's a, okay, that's a that's beaver. A, that's a good it's point. a beaver. That's a good For point. sure a beaver. Yeah. But, <laughs> you know it's not a myth? The what? fact that I am completely and 100% in love with you. <laughs> what? What? Where are you going? She's the worst I, kind of person. <laughs> she's <laughs> awful. Was it something what? I said? I, I don't know. Why am I so mad? Uh, don't make the table <laughs> fall again. Oh, crazy to see you here. You know. Humans don't normally come up on me like that. You guys aren't rather sneaky like most of the creatures I'm tracking, but I've been a bit distracted lately. You see, I'm not just on the hunt for any sea creature. We're not looking for a beaker. No, we're not looking for our mascot claws. We're looking for something even better. We're on the hunt for Da Carter.
as you know, I'm Meg Brown, world-renowned safari guide, okay? We hunt down big things, but my specialty, Campbellsville University. The biggest thing we could get here if we could land to Carter. We're hot on the trail. Hot pursuit. It's time to go. It's time to go. Follow me! So, I've been tracking to Carter for about four years now. It seems he has regular travel patterns. We've tracked this very carefully. This seems to be where he resides a lot, okay? He moves in large vehicles sometimes covered in poop. But that is not to disgrace him. Everything the light touches is under his reign in his kingdom. What's that you say, Reginald? We found some Carter clues. Carter droppings, Carter droppings. We've got some CU Life Team material, some Campbellsville mail, Oh, these Carter droppings are fresh. They are fresh. Oh my gosh, CU Sports. These Carter droppings are hot. Look at this. The Carter droppings have brought us here. It is the back domain of his natural habitat. Rumor is the Carter lives here but we actually can't verify that, we're not sure. But, we're so close, we're hot on the trail. DeCarter is coming. Well, Tanner, I've got good news and I've got bad news. Well, go on and tell me the good news. I'm going to tell you the bad news first. Okay, fine. We still don't have a band for formal. Well, dang flab it, Aaron. What in the world are we going to do? Well, uh, the good news is we actually have a list right here. Oh, hmm. Potential bands lined up. We're gonna hold additions right now. Right now? Right now. Okay, sounds good. Well, first up, it looks like it is Hit It and Quit It. <laughs> Hit It and Quit It, you're up. Hi, I'm Hit It and Quit It. Well, hello, Hit It and Quit It. Go on, show us what you got. That's it. Uh, that's it. Yep. Okay. <laughs> so, do I get the gig? Uh, I don't think so. Sorry. Cool. Well, I think we're off to a good start. Uh-huh. Next. Okay. Hmm. Why, hello, ladies. What do y'all call yourselves? Well, I'm Kat. And I'm Allie. And we're... <gasps> Callie! Uh, uh, uh. Mm -hmm. All right, girls. What do you have for us today? Ready, Allie? Ready, Kat. Okay. One, two, three, four. I got my ticket for the long way round. Two bottle whiskey for the way. And I sure will. I don't know, Aaron. What do you think? I say no. No. <laughs> Are you serious? Oh, whatever. No. Nope. Mm -mm. Kelly, out. That was harsh. I just, I just think we can do better. Oh, yeah, you're right. Who's next? Someone named Ready 
boss? Hmm. I wonder who. Oh. Well, hey, what's good. Up below? No. What? Just no. Leave. No. Leave. Bye. 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 Oh, You're gone. This is a disaster. Well, we have one more act. We have. Hopefully, God willing, this will be a winner, winner, chicken dinner. <laughs> well, I sure do hope so. Uh, this act, or this group, looks like it's called the Wonderless Beards. Wonder, I mean, the Beardless Wonders. <laughs> the Beardless. <laughs> I like those suspenders. Those are nice. Greetings, Campbellsville. We're the, we're the Beardless Wonders. That's an interesting y name. Y yes, sir. Yes, sir. Why, yes. why do you call yourself mm -hmm. that? Real simple. We got a community back at the farm, mm -hmm. and a full of uh, you know men, women, children, and sure. uh, most That's of right. the men have what we call scientific studies show. What's called a beard. We here are late bloomers. Jedi, how old are you? Well, uh, Jacob, I'd say that I'm about uh, 27. <laughs> well, man, you're doing well. I'm 36. <laughs> Boy, oh, I'll tell you what. I only care. Speaking of cows, we had a show last night. We want to perform for you guys That's right. a show. That's right. And uh, we did it for all the cattle in our little farm area, including half the town. That's right. Uh, we couldn't tell if they were a mooing or a booing. Well, we don't really care. <laughs> we just stick with the mooing. That's right. You ready? Ready? Raise your dog. Let's go. get it. A one, a two, a one, two, three, go. Hello from the other side. It must have called good. the desert yeah. Could could you just maybe do a little more of the the skillet? More skillet. More skillet. More skillet. Yes. Yes. All right. A highly complicated instrument. Ray Jedi. Let's do it. We're gonna slow things down a little bit. All right. Here we go. <clears throat> And I was like, baby, 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 all I, baby, 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 all I, baby, 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 all Don't you wish you were like us, oh yeah. I think I know my answer, but could you do one more with just a little more skillet? Just a absolutely, yeah, a Thank little you. more skillet. You got it. We're going to take this one back to the old classics. Here we go. Don't stop believing. Hold on to the feeling. More skillet. More. People. Keep going. Oh, oh, oh. Keep going. Right, come on. Yeah. Well. I must say, I am impressed. Tanner, what do you think? Aaron, I have not heard that in my entire lifetime. It was like listening to angels. <laughs> well then, I think it's decided. I think, I think we have our band. What? Yeah, hair on my mama's mule. We're gonna be famous. <laughs> Praise be, I knew those songs weren't of the devil. <laughs> Hot dog. <laughs> we gotta go sing this for our congregation. Jacob, we can't, remember? Oh yeah. Hello? Trying to go to the lake today? Yeah. It's a pretty nice day out there. The lake sounds great. I say we do it. Call Fontes. Alright, I'll call Fontes. See ya. Alright, bye. Hello? <coughs> hey Fontes. Wade, what's up? It's a pretty nice day out there. Yeah. Wanna go to the lake? Okay, cool, yeah. Alright, cool. See ya. Alright, bye. Lake day! Let's go. Let's do it. Let's get Fontes. Ready? Let's go. Let's do it. Oh snap! Get your chacos ready, it's about to go down! Yeah. Everybody's heading out to Green River. So stay on your Jesus loving toes. We running this, let's go. I'm at the lake. I'm at the lake. Everybody look at me, cause I'm hanging at the lake. I'm at the lake. I'm at the lake, take a good hard look at this lovely landscape. I'm at the lake, Jesus lovers, take a look at me. Cliff diving at the point, it's the place to be. 
Got my GoPro cause I do adventurous things. Something, 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 something that rhymes with things. Taking pictures trick for my Instagram. Okay. With my Bible in the sand, that's my aesthetic, man. I got my chocos and my Eno hammock. Getting so many likes, your mom will double tap it. We're doing Bible studies, sitting around the fire, guarding our hearts, avoiding sinful desires. But this ain't church camp. This is real as it gets. We're at the lake, Jesus lovers. Don't you ever forget. I'm at the lake and we're hanging out. And I'm so at peace with the world. I'm so authentic, man. I'm the king of the woods in the trees like Leo. If I see a bear, I hope he doesn't think I'm Leo. Yeah, I never thought I'd be at the lake. Look at God's beautiful landscape. Oh, Jesus, look at me. Oh, 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 giving praise to the Father and His creation for this wonderful water. I'm so thankful for this lake that was made. I'm getting dark, so I need some shade. You know.
We got one more song for you tonight, and it's gonna be sung by our very own Allie Camp. So give it up for Allie. What's up? Stop it. Stop it. Really? Well, I was asked to close TNL this week. You might recognize me. My name is Sarah Durham. I'm usually up here. Stop it. Stop. Usually up here with um, two other guys giving you the news. But um, today I'm going to give you the good news. <laughs> Thank you. One person got that one. All right, so um, yeah, I was asked to just share a little bit about my life. I am what you call a non-traditional student, um, which is basically a kind way of saying that I didn't get my craft together for a long time before I decided what I wanted to do with my life. So um, yeah, I'm 27, which is ancient compared to some of you all. And I've just now realized why I'm in school, what I, why I'm doing what I wanna do, and um, basically, like, the only people I can make fun of at this point in my life are, like, University of Phoenix students. They're, like, the only tier lower than being a non-traditional student. But they got their auto diesel repair certificate, so they're good to go. Uh, no. Okay, so a little bit about my backstory. I grew up Southern Baptist, and when I say I grew up Southern Baptist, every man in my family is a Southern Baptist minister except for my brother who is 20 and still has time. Um, and so people say, well, you were a preacher's kid, so you must have been like the rebel child, right? Like all the preacher's kids rebel. And I was like, not only was I a preacher's kid, but my dad also was a police officer. So I had a police officer, pastor, dad. Yeah, thank you, thank you. Somebody feels my pain out there, yeah. Um, 
So I grew up, when I say raised in church, I was very really raised in church. Um, moved to Nashville, Tennessee when I went to college um, and started doing comedy. And I started doing sketch comedy mostly, kind of what we're seeing tonight. D got into improv and stand-up and started doing stand-up around Nashville for a while. And was in a community that was based on jadedness and just self-loathing really more than anything. I was in a community of people who prided themselves. They weren't just not Christians, they prided themselves on being atheist or agnostic and looked down on anybody that shared faith or a belief in a higher power at all. Um, and so I just became completely apathetic to faith or to the church or any relationship with Christ. Like not only was I, it, I wasn't even not ashamed of my past, so much as I was just completely didn't care about it. I was like, yeah, maybe there's something, but I'll have time to figure that out. I'm not worried about it right now. Um, so I moved to Chicago, went to, so I was in Nashville for about four or five years, moved to Chicago for a year and bombed hard. <laughs> Lived in Chicago on no money. I um, was working at a restaurant, going to classes, um, did a few shows that was a lot of fun, but I was just miserable. I had no community that was building me up in any way, um, nothing, um, no support system to fall back on. I was like, you know what, Granny and Papa, it's time to come home. So I moved home two years ago, roughly, and I uh, was like, I'm going to finish my degree up, figure out what I want to do, and so I came back to school. Let me see if I'm hitting all my bullet points, because nothing says comedy like bullet points. Yes. All right, so I moved back. It was very much a prodigal daughter situation. I'm like, yes, they welcomed me back with open arms and brought out the fattest hog or something. <laughs> Whatever the prodigal son had given to him, I'm not 100% sure on the Bible. Um, but it is good, you should read it. So, uh, so yeah, came back to school, um, auditioned for a show at the uni um, in the theater department on a whim and got, in, got a part, found out that through the theater department, we had an improv team, um, auditioned for it, and got in, um, which I love improv. We do a lot of like, who's on, is it anyway kind of stuff. Um, shout out to the Harlequins, if any of you are here. Cricket, <laughs> cricket, just kidding. They're good people. Um, so yeah, started doing improv. And all of a sudden, everything was going great in my life. I was finding like people that I had shared interests with, even if I was a few years older. Um, I was back in school. I was an education major. And I knew exactly what I wanted to do with my life. And then one day, one of my professors looked at me and goes, when are we going to talk about Jesus? I was like, well, <laughs> he was a guy. Amen. Um, that's really all. I really, at that point, um, Mine is having fantastic, a fantastic, loving family who very much love Jesus. Um, at that point, I was just very turned off to anything that, um, just because of who I was at the time and what I was priding myself on being, which now is a complete false identity looking back on that. So um, I was like, okay, let's talk about Jesus. Um, and from that moment on, that realization right there that somebody wanted to talk to me about this, all of a sudden, everything changed. <laughs> like, I know that sounds so cliche, but I realized, I was like, everything's going great in my life, but there's still this hole. And I, I come, came to find out that that hole was um, any sort of faith-based community. Um, it was people that were supporting me and loving me um, for who I was and um, supporting me through their relationships with Christ, as well as supporting my own. Um, I'm a big believer in not only loving people, but figuring out how to love people. Um, everybody is, receives love in different ways. And for the first time in my life, I was receiving that love that I deserved to be loved by, with, etc. cetera. Um, so yeah, so I um, started going to church Long story short, within that process, I'm still on a journey. I'm still figuring that out. But um, I have a few things that I would like to talk to you about. First off, 
I was, like I said, was a part of a community that was built a lot on priding themselves on being intellectuals and that um, Jesus and comedy don't have a place together. And I am a living example that comedy and faith are not mutually exclusive. Um, so we have the fruits of the spirit, you know, which I actually had to Google them. <laughs> um, so some of our fruits of the spirit are love, patience, gentleness, which I think it's funny because gentleness, you never think, look at that guy, he's gentle. <laughs> so that's something I've also never been called in my life is gentle probably. But um, yeah, so we, we pride ourselves on being righteous um, or being loving or being patient, but we don't pride ourselves on being joyful. Um, it doesn't seem like something that's a hard task to achieve. We're never like, oh, that's Sarah Durham, that girl's real joyful. You know, don't you just want to be friends with her? Well, maybe you would want to say that. I don't know. If anybody's asking, I can use some more friends. <laughs> um, but no, we don't, so we don't give, our, uh, give ourselves enough credit for joy, that it's, it's not ever something that we're proud of achieving, but it's something we all need in our lives. Like, to me, comedy is something that I love doing, and comedy is joy, and true joy is being in the presence of the Holy Spirit. Um, it's, it's not mutually exclusive. They, they go together. Um, yeah, so I have some advice. Because as you can tell, I'm an expert. So first off, do find what makes you joyful. Find what gives you joy and do it because God will provide. I started, it's, I came back to Campbellsville completely broken completely hating who I was and down on everything about myself and where I had been. And um, I have completely fallen into um, this place of I finally know what I want to do with my life. I'm going after it, and I finally have trust that I will. there will be provision because Jesus Christ is going to provide for that. Um, and then find a community where joy is your focal point, um, and that you can, a community where it's not only built on joy, but it's built on sharing your life together and what makes you joyful, and find the people who care about knowing how to love you, um, because that is another place you'll find true joy and true Holy Spirit love, so thank you, that's all I have to say. Let us have one more round of applause for Sarah Durham. <laughs> Truly, what we do here at TNL, um, it is because we, we love the Lord and we want to serve him. And uh, what a cool way to do this. You don't have to uh, be like this great biblical scholar to serve Jesus. And you don't have to, you don't have to know everything there is um, about the New Testament to serve the Lord. Um, you just have to be committed. And we want you guys to be involved. We want you guys um, to learn with us. Um, I sure don't have this Christian thing down, but I do know that the Lord loves me. And I know that these people here care for me, um, and we want to care for you. We want this to be a place where you feel um, cared for in more ways than just, you know, like this chapel that is very, very nice. Um, but it's here for the purpose of praising God. Um, and so, guys, we've had a wonderful night. Um, I hope that you guys have been brought a little bit of joy and cheer and a few laughs. We have a new TNL coming out in May. I hope you guys are marking your calendars. So... Be on the lookout for that. We'll be tweeting or um, hashtagging or Instagramming or something. Oh, look, there it is, May 3rd. Cool, okay, May 3rd. So be there, May 3rd, there it is. I didn't honestly know when it was, so. I felt not confident in saying that out loud. Cool, May 3rd, awesome. Well, um, one last final thing. Our friend Ed Pavey is there in the back. Everyone, round of applause as Ed Pavey, our BCM. Wow, look at him. This is our campus minister. We love him dearly. He has a few things to share. And that's my microphone. Those are your glasses. Okay, bye. I love you. Bye. All right. Very briefly, uh, I asked if I could take executive privilege because we have a, a ministerial need 
Uh, you may or may not know anything about this kind of stuff or have an interest, but uh, no, go to the next slide. There, that one, April 16th and 17th. Uh, that's a very big weekend. Uh, a lot of the church outreach teams or church life teams are going out, but there's a church, uh, Sulphur Spring Baptist in Franklin. Anyone from here may know where that is. Oh, we got one hand, actually two hands, one person. And uh, they're looking for four or five students just for Saturday, Sunday, to come in Saturday. If you've ever gone to a centrifuge or a center kid camp and you do like the little interest groups, you know, where you track times, they teach you more about recreation or how to pace things together, whatever. Uh, it's whatever your strength is, whatever you're skilled at, to lead a, a little workshop in the morning, participate in a church project in the afternoon, be a part of their worship services Saturday night, Sunday night, maybe even Sunday morning. That's all it is. But we need some people to go. And like I said, all the church life teams are really occupied that weekend, so I'm needing four or five volunteers. Uh, if you're interested, you want to get your feet wet and going out in the church, uh, doing something like that, you can minister to the church, uh, fulfill a need that we have on campus, uh, to supply these churches uh, with teams, student teams when they ask for them. So I uh, don't want to beat you over the head with it, but uh, that need is real. The time is short, so come and see me, and uh, I'll get your name and phone number information on, on my phone. I knew I had it somewhere. Uh, are you coming back to take the mic from me? Uh, okay. Well, anyway, uh, I wanted to mention one other thing. Uh, did you need to speak before I say this? Okay. Uh, you all know uh, Taylor Harvard. Are you here, Taylor? Oh, there she is. Uh, you know that uh, their family was hit kind of double hard recently, and uh, Taylor's uncle is doing something fantastic in, memori in memorial, memorial, in memory of uh, her niece, uh, Brooklyn Carruthers. Uh, they're starting a, a drive to support children's ministry at St. Jude Children's Hospitals, collecting coloring books and crayons. How, how easy is that? She's going to have boxes around the, the campus, including one out on, uh, in the lobby of the, of the chapel. And so uh, they're going to be collecting. Their goal is to get at least 1,000 coloring books, 1,000 boxes of crayons uh, to then ship to St. Jude Children's Hospital for the kids there. And if you don't know anything about St. Jude's Children's Hospital, you need to Google that and find out what a tremendous ministry that is. So uh, we're going to collect those, send them their way in memory and in honor of uh, Brooklyn Carruthers. And so uh, you can do that. If you have more questions, ask Taylor. Uh, she'll be glad to talk to you about that. But that would be a tremendous thing you could do uh, to touch kids' lives in a very real way. Now, uh, tonight uh, it's been uh, comedy, and now we got cakes. You know, we got, I think I smell blueberry pancakes out there. Do I smell blueberry pancakes? Kat, are you out here? That's, uh, yeah, chocolate that smells a lot like blueberry. Apparently chocolate pancakes. So uh, chocolate blueberry pancakes. Blueberry, they look blue. They look blue. The pancakes have chocolate that's blue. Like I blew it. All right. Are you? Okay, everyone, round of applause for Ed. He's old. His eyes and nose confuse things sometimes. So um, if we could have our TNL Cast and crew, come on out here. I almost forgot this part. That would have been crazy. So everyone, come on up. Round of applause as they come on the stage. Yeah, really turn. All the music, all the this. Yeah, bring it in. And guys, give them a nice send up, a nice round of applause. These folks are wonderful. They're wonderful to work with. We'll have our one last little TNL party and then we're going to go eat hotcakes in the lobby. So, everyone, go ahead and take your bow. Take your bow. Wonderful. Everybody, thanks so much. We'll see you next time.